hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm rebecca from artist rebecca ls and today we are going to be taking a look at a sample bottle by schmink of ink and it's called aero color professional basically this is meant for a spray um an air gun a spray gun but i don't use that <laughs> i use it for um just drawing with my dip pen and for expressive work now i've had this for a few years and isn't that really cute look at the cute size of it now schmink are a german art company um, an art manufacturer of very high quality art supplies that they do do a student range and a beginner range but their professional range is you can't beat it in many artists opinions and this is part of their professional art supply range and it is acrylic ink and this color is primary blue cayenne it says here about the transparent rating and it's number four there's like four stars I don't know if you can see that if i put it down here i'll be able to zoom on it so basically i think the star rating is either light fastness or transparency so i'm going to say obviously it says it's transparent so we will test that out let's go We will do some Stillman and Burn sample paper. So there we go. So this one is from the Gamma series and it's a medium grain. Now you can see on this bottle it already comes with a pipette that is installed and I have to say even the pipette is high quality because I've had some inks and I'm thinking of the Pebio Color, Colorex ones where the pipette's actually disconnected itself from the lid you know <laughs> so it's annoying and then you can get leakage um, because the seal it, uh, has kind of broken so you then have to keep the bottle you know completely it, uh, kind of upright but also try and get it in an airlock bag so that the ink doesn't evaporate so we then just unscrew and it's a glass pipette in a glass bottle I do like that and we can just just look at that little bit for a minute look at that Let's see what we can do with that little dot. I'm just going to be doodling. But look at that blue. I mean, this was a sample bottle that I believe um, was sent to me a few years back when I was doing other things. And it is beautiful. And I do have a set of these that um, are in a case, like I've buried them because I know I couldn't replace them again because they're so expensive. So I'm like, I don't use them until I feel I'm better at my art. And I don't know if I'm ever going to feel like that, <laughs> if I'm good enough to use the good supplies. <laughs> I know there's many artists out there that feel like that. And so because this is acrylic, you could also um, put it on a plastic palette and then we could, we'll grab a paintbrush. We'll just grab that one and we will add some water. Here we go. And can you see? You get this lovely watercolour effect. 
I know everybody's going on about uh, the latest craze is in the art world is the ac acryl gouache which is basically they've mixed gouache with acrylic binder to make it a um, permanent gouache, basically, that is matte. But everybody has been able to do watercolour from acrylic. So basically, like a permanent watercolour, but a lot of professional artists would say that's sacrilege because it's not a true watercolour. This is permanent, you see, when it is dry whereas watercolours will be able to be lifted when they're dry. But just see how intense that little blob was. We could spread it all out. And then we can do some water here and just do little blobs. I do like testing. And we could even do some water, a blob here, just like so. And then we will blob some of it in. So I just squeezed the pipette to bring up some ink. And then I'm just gonna do a blob, there we go. Probably the blob was too much. But then I can drag it out a bit. I keep putting water around here, eventually it will meet up. It's all fun. There we go. It's incredibly intense, that's for sure. And if we then just tilt it a little. There we are. We've got it tilting into that. And so you can do lots of different kind of butterfly patterns. If you did water on, like in a sketchbook on one side and blobbed your ink and then shut the book and opened it again, you would get a lovely pattern. Especially, you would wet both pages, but only put ink on one side and shut the book and then open it and it would be really good fun. I love doing lots of little things like that. I'll have to show you guys because we haven't done that on my channel. So then what you could do is get a fine liner and you can just draw over the top of it. So for example, we could just, you know, here, this is kind of a looking, I don't really know what it's looking like, but I'm just going to put some eyes here. It's kind of looking mouse-like with the whiskers. And a little mouth. And the nose is like here. And the whiskers are there. And then we will just wipe off the excess and that's really good you can lie it on your desk and the lid is keeping the metal pipette off of the desk so then I'm just going to be dipping my the dip pen directly in I'm not sure if that went in dip it in more that was better. And we will then, can you see? And we'll finish in a time lapse, guys. And I'm finished with my testing, guys. What do you think of this ink? Have you tried? the aero inks by schmink let me know in the comments below just look at that how strong that ink is so a little goes a very long way thanks for watching guys and i'm gonna catch you really soon bye